Hi, Bruce from Safari here, and uh, we're going to do a complete walkthrough of this 200 series and the power pack that we've put in here. The first thing you notice here, let me just go wide angle here, is uh, there's a lot of room left in here. Uh, this was the old uh, AGM battery that's going to be taken out. An updated fridge, a much bigger fridge freezer is going in here, and they're just going to use this for general storage, but uh, in the front there, is going to be other uh, cases that they're putting in. So this is towing a Zone RV van, and the whole purpose of it is to provide power uh, for the van when they're, when they're off grid. But the weight issue here is also addressed because if we walk around the side here and have a look at the pack here, um, and we do have the blue light on inside, you'll see that it's four to the rear axle. Now let's do some numbers on weight. The seat we took out of there is 25 kilos. This unit here is 120 kilos. So we've added on uh, 90 kilos in weight. Uh, taking the battery out of the rear is about 30 kilos. So now we're down to 60. Uh, the typical draw system in the back here is 60 to 90 kilos. The ARB is 90 kilos. So if you don't put a draw system in the back and you've got this arrangement, it's the same weight as a draw system. It's no heavier than that. And then you're getting a lot of utility out of this uh, that we'll show you soon. Now, the front passenger here, the seat is pretty well uh, back, level with the driver in this case, leaning back a little bit more. So there's very little impact. The, in fact, the um, case here is lined up when the other seat's down exactly with the other seat across here. Um, and while we're here, these are the Amphenol connectors coming in here, and they are bringing in the power from the alternator, twin 50s here, are bringing in uh, 250 amps from the alternator coming in down here, the twin 50s, uh, going into Scotty so that that can recharge up to uh, 3,000 amps. Now, if we walk around the other side to see uh, what is gained here on the uh, double uh, rear seat here, you can see there's a bucket load of space here that you can see. And if I put this seat back and put it down and lock it down into position, uh, lift this up then uh, you know with the center console down you've got some comfortable space here put this up if you've got uh, two in the back here uh, then they fit and you can see the lineup of the boxes lined up the case with the seat so you got the full movement in there that's our GPS down there by the way and 4G antenna that we put down there so that it's um, away from the uh, roof now, the whole purpose of this is to power up the van. So let's just step through um, what's happening inside this case. So we've talked about Scotty charging. We've got uh, three 200 amp hour batteries in here, a 12 volt equivalent that is. And we've got a 5,000 watt inverter in here. Now, why have we got a 5,000 watt inverter? Let's go down round and have a look at the outlets. Now, the reason why we've got a 5,000 watt inverter, and I'll just zoom in here a bit, is because here's a power inlet. So it will take up to 16 amps. Uh, coming in and then this is a 15 amp double pole down the bottom here and the uh, caravan 15 amp lead just plugs straight into here the two 10 amp gpos here are for uh, cooking in the back here of the wagon and these can run exactly at the same time so you can have power coming in here power going out to the van and the 5000 watt has enough grunt in it that it will both charge the batteries in here and supply the power to the van at the same time um, and we've got the GPOs running here. Then up here, uh, we've got the Anderson plug going out for the fridge. The USBs are in the front, uh, plugged in. We've got the blue light inside. That's the on-off switch for Scotty, and that's our solar input coming in. So you can see at the back here, in some detail, we've still got a ton of room back in here, and uh, um, this is going in. This is the old 12-volt system cable going in there that's going to be removed. So um, there's still room behind the seats. You could still put a half cargo barrier in here if you wished. Uh, you still want to get access to those plugs and the leads from the plugs can go out around the side or they can come out through the rear. Now, what this gives um, the owner is uh, comfortably up to eight hours of the air con with the Truma in the uh, Zone RV. So they can plug the Zone RV in, run the air con during the day or at night either way, and then the next day when they're driving, if the, if, the, if the van is staying stationary and the vehicle drives, this will replenish these batteries in about two hours, fully replenish them, ready for another night. And the trick is replenishment power. And although we've got solar, the solar is really a piddle here. 
and the alternator control is really giving in the most power that you can possibly get in here. So that's uh, three batteries being charged just under or around about two hours to uh, fully re replenish them to run overnight. So you can run um, pretty much a full electric kitchen in there as well if you weren't running the uh, air con for as long. Um, so that's overall the pack that you see there and it can be removed um, under this. We've got the screws on the inside here. That pack can be removed and moved to the next vehicle. We've put a baseboard on the bottom here and that can just be lifted out, uh, the baseboard taken out and uh, if you've got a new uh, updated LC, it can just pop into the new LC. So it's a total modular approach to a wagon type solution. I have to say, how good's that?